Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I am going to Menagdra. M-N-A-G-J-D-R-A, Menagdra, Menagdra. Anyway, it is in combination with um, Hagger M. And so I'm gonna split them up into two videos, but each video is gonna have the museum and all the information up front. Um, just so that if you're really more interested in the second one, this one, the Menagdra, that you don't have to watch the, the whole other one to get to this part. Anyway, this one is Menagdra. Thanks everybody. Bye bye. So everybody, this is uh, a monolithic site type structure with the big stones and the whole nine yards. Um, and the one I'm going to first is this one, Hagar M. And uh, it looks like it's pretty much all in a different language, but that's okay. See, and this one was based on the celestial bodies. And what's interesting is, so they have this, this is what the monument looks like, or the site looks like. And so there were rooms and everything else, right? But they have a button here that says solstice, summer solstice. So that would be the sun. And you see the little red line? It shines through that little tiny hole right there. See the little tiny hole? See it? And then it hits that one little spot right there. How amazing is that, that they, uh, they figured all that out? So I'll go out there and look at that and, uh, and see the whole thing in real life. But uh, that's what this one looks like. And I think, is this the way it is today and that's the way it was before or no? Is this... I don't know, but I think this is the way it looks. And that's the Hagar Quim temples. I say Quim, but it's not Quim. And this is the Majora temples. And this one's a little different. This one, instead of being set up on the solstice, it was set up on the spring and equinox and the winter solstice. So it does all three. So if you press this button, the sun comes on and you can see a little red line. And it hits that part of the temple. See it? And then if you hit this one, this sun comes on and it goes right through the main gate and hits the very back of the temple back there. You see the red line? And then if you do this one, the winter solstice, it does the same thing. It hits that one little spot right there, right through the door. So it's pretty amazing stuff. Amazing that they would think of all this stuff back 4,000 years ago, huh? or longer than that, actually. So, but that's what that one looks like. So first will be this one, second one will be that one. And uh, I'll take you around, following the excavation in 1839, and it's covered, so they really do a good job of taking care of it. Um, And I'll try to capture as much of this stuff as I possibly can for you. I have people that read. <laughs> Instead of just looking at the pictures, they uh, actually go through and look at this. Damage at Hagar Quim. Huh. Amazing. So this is what it kind of looks like now. The wind is really ripping through out there. So you're probably gonna get a lot of wind noise. So the stone must have broke. And so they had to do something to, to support that. That's too bad, huh? Technology has helped us understand the deterioration of the site with these infrared sudden increase in temperatures in the megalith and later. July to protect the shelter, okay. Wow, so you can see that certain stones get hotter. That's kind of cool. Please touch. This is material used for protective shelter at the heart. Although the material is still allowed light to pass through the protective. Please touch. Okay. Hmm. Let's go look at this one. Astronomy. The dawn of the spring equinox, 21st to March, and the autumn equinox, September 21st, the sun rises directly opposite the doorway of the southern temple, blah, blah, blah. And that's this one temple. But 
the question is why'd they do it? Why go to all that trouble? There are many possible reasons for the solar alignments. Maybe they acted as a calendar. They played a role in rituals that took place. Uh, none of the above. <laughs> it is clear how it is not clear how they did it. The circular holes has been discovered along with several alignments and record. Blah blah blah. Pretty neat stuff, huh? Goes within the Eastern Temple of Mahaga, drilled in circular patterns. Mathematic astronomers frankly suggest that these holes were tally of the days between appearances of one stone to another. Wow. So, are each one of these little days and they could mark off the days, or is this down here? Why'd they do the tally? Really, the tally? Uh, <laughs> it's pretty amazing stuff, actually. To date, these meg megaliths are the only indicators of possibility alignments with the stars in Maharaja. However, many alignments have uh, been Okay, the position of the stars appear to be in the horizon change of ratio. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker. Instance to the temple, that's fine. Oh, look. Did they put stars and moons and the starlight, sunlight in there too? So, remember this place? So this one was pretty amazing. Um, the sunlight, so the New Grange, Ireland. So I've been in this one. And it really is amazing. You have to go through this little tunnel, but it gets right to the very middle. And one day a year, it was the exact same situation. The sunlight would hit the very center of that um, new Grange in, in uh, Ireland. Huh. Now that's funny too. So astronomical alignments have been proposed to the new other sites, including Stonehenge, I've been there. New Grange, I've been there. Karnak, I've been there. And Abu, I've been to all of those. That's pretty amazing. Pause as you need to, everybody. There's a lot of information here. Broken pieces of pottery and drink some of this. Clay, water, sand, and crushed pottery shards and glass. Okay. Let's do the English side. Hmm. And it, at that one in um, Gozo, they actually had fingerprints in the clay from, you know, <laughs> 5,600 years ago, which is pretty crazy all in and of itself. Hmm. Yeah. Known as Venus of Hagar Quim, the clay figurine is naturally used, naturalistic used uh, unusually. Hmm. It's nice to know that the people back then had uh, had some girth to them, which is wonderful. Some blocks were cut from the nearby building site. Okay. How'd they do it? Internal 
Patches is free for them. Two possibilities. Oh, a ramp. So they took a ramp and dragged them up. I can't imagine. I mean, some of these stones are so big. And then this one, they kind of dragged them up and built it up, built it up, built it up. And I saw how they did the ones in Egypt, how they dug a hole out of and, and put sand in it and then built it and then drained the sand out of the which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Neoville can have a small island, had no advanced technology, no metal tools, no writing. Yet they built the oldest freestanding stone buildings of such complexity in the world. Wow. What did the temples look like? Huh. So they put the top on it and they built the ring around it and then they added to it huh they built a roof over it too maybe wow wow it's funny because new grange was the same way they stacked all these layers of stones and stones and stones and stones and then they put dirt on top of it and then it grew grass and stuff and How does the temples look like? The remains of the temples are okay, roofed. Wow. You know, we were pretty amazing people <laughs> 6,000 years ago. Wow. Let's go look around over here and see if there's more on this side. Again, it is really windy out there, so. Uh, we don't care about the birds. Hmm. Okay, and it looks like these are the guys that discovered it. And then this is what is this landscape? <laughs> so is this Hagar? Hmm. Mega queries. Here's the temples. That's where I'm at. That's what it looks like from above. Man, that's staggering, isn't it? Hmm. Here's the tower. They used to communicate Hagar Temple. Very cool. Okay, everybody. I think we pretty much got this. So I guess I'm going to move on and go outside and show you the real stuff. Now that you know all about it, <laughs> let's go. Let's go see it, shall we? Bye, everybody. Okay, one more video before I leave. I, I, you know, just for reference, you know, it's always hard to reference how big the stones are. So this is the site, Harger Quim. There's a guy up there on top of the stone. So think about what that looks like. I mean, you know, let's say he's, let's just say he's six feet tall. That stone's probably 10, 12 feet tall. And then how long you think this is? I mean, that's probably, God, if you laid him out, maybe six, 12, 18, 20 feet. And it probably is at least three, four feet thick. So how much do you think that stone weighs? How crazy is that? That's pretty amazing, people. All right, okay, there was another sign here that one guy was reading, so I couldn't get over here and show you, so I thought I'd come over here. 
Um, they had an elaborate doorway, number one. Number two is the passage to the inner chamber. Number three is the remains of the cor corbelled roof. And then four is the altar-like structure. And then number five is the east temple. And six is the doorway cut from a single slab. Okay, but here's what it says about it. So I'm gonna get closer so you can read it all and then you can go from there. So 3600 BC, so 5600 years ago. Pause as you need to, everybody. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? 5,600 years ago? Outstanding. Okay, everybody, I'm moving on. Okay, so I'm going to the temples. I'm going to Hagar M. They don't pronounce the Q, and it's 100 meters. You can see the dome. And then I gotta walk 600 meters to the next one. And again, it's really windy, so I'm sorry about the noise, everybody. All right, I'm moving on. Bye. All right, everybody. Sorry about that wind again. I'm going down to the next temple. And it's down there, you can see the dome. So I gotta go this way. And then go by the island. Pretty amazing. And I'll see you down there. Bye, everybody. The wind's kind of let up a little bit, so I can kind of at least show you what the trail looks like all the way down there. So that's where I'm headed. Well, it's a haul. <laughs> it's a haul down, and it's going to be a haul back up. It's nice to have this brick wall here to block this, the wind and stuff, so... Very cool. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, here's the other site. Um, I guess I was thinking, should I make them two sites, or is it just one site? I mean, they have them as two different sites. When somebody searches on the web, are they going to find one or are they going to find two? Um, well, I guess I'll consider that. <laughs> okay. So this is the one that had the three sun things, remember? It had the sun would come into three different locations from the solstice, the winter solstice, the summer solstice, and then the equinox. Is that right? What does this one say? Yes, here we go. So that's this doorway right here. Winter, summer, and equinox. Interesting, the sun would go right underneath that stone right here. Like little doors into rooms. Hmm. And again, this whole thing would have been covered because you can see those things sloping inward at us. sacrificial table. Oh, and that must have been the stone that broke. So 
because I had to put a support in there. Unlike Haggard Hager Quim or M, outer walls of the Majar Temple are constructed into a hard sterling limestone, while the softer How you doing? Sorry. Right. There's more up there. Let's go look over there. Okay, well this isn't really a, <laughs> a walkway. What's this one say? Those are your irregular lines right there. Nothing on this one, is there? No. Huh. Okay. So this is a two bedroom. Or more. Wow, it's a big room. I wonder how deep it goes, you know what I mean? If they only uncovered to a certain depth or if they uncovered the whole thing. This one's like a couch or something. Curved, conical kind of thing. And some art in the wall there. And this is a big room too. And I bet these are seismic machines, so they can tell if the, the stones are moving at all. And this one broke too, it looks like, huh? Is this the big one that was the crazy one to do? I mean, it's held up in three different spots. That's a big stone. And there's another entrance where your doorway. Let me read this here. Um, the architecture of this temple is very simple when compared to the South Temple. A um, porthole slab which leads to a small chamber built within the thickness of the whole temple, temple wall. Hmm.
<laughs> 5,600 years, people. 5,600 years, look at that view. How amazing is that view? Okay, everybody. Well, I think that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna walk around the outside, um, but uh, thank you so much for coming along with me as always. This one's gonna be a long video, but uh, certainly worth looking at, huh? Very cool. Bye everybody. <laughs>